What about steroids? I mentioned the WHO uh, discussed cortisone as well as a potential risk factor for complicated COVID-19, but this is even more uncertain than NSAIDs are. Uh, we strongly recommend not stopping steroids suddenly. If you're using steroids for IBD treatment, please speak to your physician first. It can cause significant problems if you stop steroids suddenly, including shock and even death. Uh, so discuss it with your physician. However, if you're having a flare, or if you think you're having a flare, you're starting to have symptoms, please don't start steroids on your own at this point in time. Speak to your physician first about whether you should be starting steroids if you have a supply at home. It really is worth checking with your healthcare providers first. Uh, if you're prescribed steroids uh, for your IBD by somebody who's not your regular physician, uh, such as an emergency room doctor or a family doctor, please confirm that you need the steroids with your gastroenterologist or IBD specialist. And this is just a general good guidance sort of idea because steroids are probably our strongest immune suppressing medication, our, our, our most systemic immune suppressing medication. And therefore, in a time when we're in a, an outbreak of a virus, it's not a great idea to be heavily immune suppressed with steroids unless you really need it to treat your IBD. Uh, the, the messaging of all of this is that we believe that treating your IBD and making sure your IBD is in remission and there's no active inflammation is probably the safest way to go. So using your best medications to get rid of inflammation because you are at more risk for complications from active inflammatory bowel disease, Crohn's and colitis, than you are from COVID-19.